Well, Mikey, you believe in it all the time and, and it's, it's come to fruition tonight. Yeah, we're delighted, obviously, to get through in the competition. Um, I think it's been fantastic over the six games. The standard of the games, the tempo of the games have been very, very high. And uh, it's a great opportunity now to, to go into the draw for the last 16 and, and we'll, uh, we'll see who we draw and, and we'll look forward to the game. And it was back to the wall because more impressive because you were behind. Yep, yeah, obviously you went behind early on. I felt like we started the game very, very well. Um, ben Close had a great opportunity to, to put us 1-0 up and then obviously Everton took the lead. Um, a disappointing goal from our point of view. And then I felt we lost our, our way a little bit in the, in the first half after that. Um, and Nick was, Nick was becoming very isolated. And, uh, you know, in the second half, we managed to get the ball down and play a bit more, a bit more on the front foot, a bit more positive with our play. And uh, that paid off and, and we managed to get the two goals. A great strike from Ben Close and Nick Kabamba, three goals in, in three games in this competition. Great run for him. So overall, we're really, really pleased that we're through and I think um, we'll look forward now to the draw and we'll see who we get. Closest goal came at a pivotal time really, didn't it? Because right at the start of the second half, put them on the back foot. Yeah, it was important. Like we said, we, we spoke at half-time about being on the front foot and... Uh, and being a bit more energetic and a bit more positive in our play in and out of possession. And I think that the boys showed that in the second half. And obviously we got our rewards in the end. We shouldn't say that or undermine the fact that Everton are an impressive team. Everton are an excellent team, an excellent football club. You know, they're top of the, the under-23 league um, for a reason. Uh, I think they were, they were younger than usual tonight. They did have a, a younger side out. Um, but again, we were possibly not as strong as we could have been given the first team game tomorrow. So I think that sort of balanced itself off. But, you know, great credit to them. It, always, you know, you know, you're going to be in, in this competition. You know, you're going to be in for a high tempo game. You know, you're going to play against players with technical ability, with fitness. Um, and they showed that tonight. And like I say, I think it was a, another, another great game for the neutral. And anyone that came tonight would have enjoyed the game. And discussing it afterwards, Drew Talbot was impressive. Yeah, I mean, we don't like to single players out, obviously. I think Drew Drew has been excellent as a senior player um, throughout the competition, supporting the younger boys that have come up from the academy. And the same goes for all the senior players. I think, you know, Liam spoke about before the game about them setting the standard um, for the younger players to follow. And I think they did that tonight, and I think they've done that throughout the competition. And that's one of the reasons why we've been so successful. Now, from the start... The odds have been against you, getting through the qualifiers, and getting through the group stage. Uh, what is it about this bunch? I think it's just the, the balance between the senior players that come down from the first team, uh, the younger players that come up from the academy, and the fact that we've got some, some really talented players between the, the 18 and 23 age group. Um, you know, players that have come through the academy, players that the gaffers brought in. They've all played their part over the eight games to, to get us to where we are now. And certainly we can look forward to the next game. It's a game that we'll enjoy. Again, where, whoever we'll be playing, we'll, we'll be going into it as underdogs. So, uh, you know, we'll look forward to it. And hopefully, who knows, maybe we can get through the next round as well. Oh!